it can, I, I feel like it can take a little bit more abuse or this can take a little bit more water since it's not, um, since that's not as So wet. that is the actual, um, the underglaze is on, or you're spraying the underglaze when you put it on this. Yeah, good yeah. question. Okay. Yeah, so this, so when this is the, uh, this is kind of how I used to do it. Um, and I think it still works for this process. Um, I would get like a smooth surface and kind of lay down a um, layer of water and kind of lay the, the transfer in there and then try to get it, um, just kind of try to saturate it a little bit. But again, this is, this is a little bit more um, unpredictable and sometimes I will let it go too long and it will start to, start to uh, like mush around. And I, this one is not as straight as the other one, straight sided, so you'll see some. Do you want your little rib? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> is that a piece of tape on the side of the paper? No. Is it just like, it looks almost thinner or something? Oh, it's just where the slip was. Yeah. Yep. Thank you, Rebecca. You're welcome. So, yeah, so again, it's like, it's like the other. Um, although I can press a little, you know, it's leather hard, right? It's firmed up, so I can press a little more firmly and I just work it around and like I said this one is not as um, straight sided so I'm getting some wrinkles in the top which I don't totally care about but I don't know what people are doing. So you can't go too far off of straight but I mean there's not too much too much curve that you can do it without crinkling the paper. Yeah yep yeah. It'll let you do, I would say like you could do something about like that, you know, maybe like a two inch diameter. Um, but if you're, if, you know, stretching this far, you're gonna run into some problems. Yeah. I mean, you just, if just you did, what it is. If you did like strips or rectangles or something, you could do it on a curved pot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah you know, mm -hmm. strips. You just wouldn't do a whole sheet, <laughs> yeah. you could yeah. do strips. I know. Yeah. Or you could integrate like cutting some slits in it so it would like wrap around the curve. Some surface. darts. Yeah. Some darts. 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 Yeah. 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 But then that would be a part of your print too. Yeah. Yeah. You could, um, I've seen people, what's that guy? He's Forrest Middleton. Do you guys know him? He does like dark pots. He does, mm -hmm. he uses a similar process. And what he'll do is he'll, he'll, get it to this point and then I'll put it back on the wheel and I'll start to like stretch it out. Yeah. So you can, there's, there's ways to do it, you know. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but oh, have you I ever tried don't. that? I, I haven't it. tried it. You should definitely. You should definitely. I, should, I, should, I should. And that's, well, that's another reason why like I wanted the paper that can pull off Peel of off because, yeah. That's yeah. Better. I just torched it. Burn it off, burn it up. I don't know. I don't know, out. actually. I'm not sure. You got a torch? Yeah. You want to try it? Sure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could do it on this because I still have this piece right here, and I don't know if that's going to come off. I feel like you'd want it on the wetter piece, so then you could stretch it again after. Awesome. What's that? If like, we're gonna like do the, the burn off and then and it stretch it again, yeah, yeah, super oh, crappy. Yeah. yeah, but I think you want it. You you want the clay to be at this state before you stretch it. Yeah, well, before you pull the paper off. Oh right, that's a good point. Yeah, because it's gotta like it's gotta absorb the like. So how was that guy who stretches stains? I mean, he this. I think he either maybe wet, you know, guess. sprays it back down. So he, and he pulls the paper off, sprays it, and then re. Yeah, it and, and he only goes from the inside too. Totally. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's a very. I've seen one thing mm -hmm. that he did with a bowl, and he made this perfectly flat circle, you know, and then he kind of like, kind of worked it up into a bowl. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it was very. On the like, wheel. Was it? Yeah. On the inside? So yeah. yeah. Here, here's a fun little thing he doesn't have to ever cut through his pots 
like to take them off of the bat, they just pop off. Yeah. It's oh. pretty amazing. Yeah. So just that's those, what's so cool about these, these little guys. Oh, yeah. So, wow. yeah, so you can put that back on yeah. again and you and yeah. do it. What if you put the sodium silicate on top of that and then went from the inside? Mm. Oh, and then you like got your you know, like crazy crackle. cracking stuff. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 You could totally do that. Oh. Yeah. Do it. Yeah, what's it? Do we have sodium silicate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do we have sodium silicate? That's the question. I do. <laughs> do you? Yeah.